The empire improves every system it touches. Judged by any metric. Safety, prosperity, trade, opportunity, peace. Compare imperial rule to what is happening now. The client is a pan-galactic empire. The empire was home to countless alien species across the galaxy. In terms of preference, the population of the empire was dominated largely by humans, a species native to the imperial capital world Coruscant. Humans were the most common species in both the imperial military and the empire's political circles, with the highest echelons of the new order almost entirely consisting of the species. To increase the human population and military manpower, several imperial breeding programs were enacted in the early days of the empire. They encouraged people to start and grow families, and rewarded them for it. While the empire supported traditional heterosexual relationships, it did not care about the individual sexual preferences of its citizens, provided that such individuals kept their affairs behind closed doors, and did not interfere with any of its family programs. As a human-dominated government, the Galactic Empire supported Galactic Basic Standard and its Aurabesh, High Galactic Writing System. Learning of foreign languages and cultures for the general populace was disapproved of. Officially, all organized religion and belief in the supernatural was outlawed. In reality, the vast size and scope of the empire meant that thousands of religions were practiced across its vast territory. The Seswena sector alone had over 300 distinct religions with active practitioners, all officially recognized by the local imperial administrator. Chief of the Imperial Navy Conan Antonio Motti himself claimed to be a man of faith, and believed that imperial unity could only be strengthened through cooperative and constructive dialogue among citizens following diverse spiritual traditions. Underground religions surrounding the extinct Jedi such as the Church of the Force and the Guardians of the Wills continued to exist despite their perilous closeness to the Jedi of old. 